Hello, welcome to our Life Farm monthly product webinar. My name here is Martha Whitfield, Life Farm Senior Sales and Customer Support Manager. My role is to support uh, our North America, which includes the US and Canada, and Oceania, um, includes our Australian and New Zealand markets. Um, when I say North America, when it includes our territories, Jamaica, Trinidad, and Tobago as well. Uh, you have this opportunity now to hear from one of the best in our industry. Uh, we have the opportunity to now hear from Kimberly Purdy Lloyd. She has her bachelor's degree in pre-med and her master's in biochemistry. She has published in numerous peer-reviewed journals, basic and clinical trials. She has achieved high awards in her academic background and then have used her talents to educate consumers on the value of dietary supplement ingredients. She's helped and continues to lead the way for us here at Life Farm Corporate Office, as well as to our Life Farm family all over the world, um, to design experimental protocols to better understand ingredients and the benefits and functions, um, and pu has published results that she's worked with third-party scientists and physicians. So for this, you are uh, gonna be educated um, by the very best, our very own executive research and development scientist, Kimberly Purdy Lloyd. Well, thank you so much, uh, Martha, for that nice introduction. And it's been such a pleasure to work with you this last year and uh, in helping us organize these webinars for education and consumer knowledge about our uh, well-formulated products that we're very proud of. And so on the next slide, we'll start talking about the immune product. Now, immune is a product that is been uh, formulated to enhance the immune activity of the body. And uh, we do want to stress some of the ingredients that are in this product. Remember too, that we have our disclaimers on these webinars that we uh, are not allowed as a dietary supplement company to make statements that uh, would suggest that the products diagnose, treat, cure, or mitigate diseases. We just want to be sure we're following the Deshay uh, guidance on our rules about our products. So let's start then with that slide on what is your immune system? Well, it's a number of different types of cells. We, uh, you will hear in the literature, T cells. T cells means that it is from the uh, thymus region, the way they are produced in the body. And these are memory cells. These are cells that can remember if you were exposed to a prior uh, chicken pox or if you got a vaccination along the way, that stimulates the T cells to remember what that foreign invader looked like. And so it turns the body on to go and attack it if it sees it again. Uh, B cells are what makes the immunoglobulins. So if a foreign invader comes into the body, then the B cells are also triggered to go to the side of that foreign invader and make what we call immunoglobulins that will, so will neutralize will neutralize the proteins and the, the components that make up that uh, foreign invader or foreign material, mutated material sometimes. And because the body knows that it doesn't, it, it's not part of the body. It doesn't read uh, true to the genetic code of your body. So it, you turn on all these systems to say, get rid of this because it's not like me and it's foreign and it can do damage to me in the form of growths or uh, uh, unwanted wounds or growths or infections. So we wanna get rid, your body wants to automatically get rid of those foreign invaders and material that doesn't belong in our body. And so this is a very complicated system and very sophisticated system with all these various uh, cells. We'll show you in the next slide that there's a number of different types of cells that compose the immune cells. Here's a diagrammatic 
a number of different types of cells. They all have different names and different functions and they send out messengers to come to the site of the of foreign invasion and let's get rid of this foreign matter. And then you see the macrophage that's in the center. He holds center stage somewhat in that once this foreign invader is identified and the macrophage then comes, he's kind of a big guy. He's bigger than the other cells and he's going to eat that cell up. He's going to uh, engulf that bad material and uh, you know, digest it so that it gets out of the blood system or the lymphatic system. In the next slide, we see that also depicted. Now, what we want to uh, learn uh, today is that these big cells, these big phagocyte cells, need about 40 times more vitamin C than the other types of immune cells or the other body cells throughout the body. Now, Linus Pauling uh, wrote a book called Vitamin C in the Common Cold. He was awarded the Nobel Prize two times in biochemistry. And in his later years, this is what he really focused on was vitamin C. He became fascinated because there's an interesting um, biological issue with vitamin C in the human because we do not make our own vitamin C we lack an enzyme and uh, guinea pigs and the primates, the monkeys and some birds and fish do not make their own vitamin C. But other uh, animals such as your dog, your cat, the cow, the goat, the sheep, they make their own vitamin C. They have this enzyme and it's turned on and it accomplishes this last chemical reaction, so to speak, and they make their own vitamin C and that circulates throughout their body. Plants also make vitamin C, as you're aware. So in the next slide, uh, we know that we want to keep our immune system built up during the cold and flu seasons. We don't wanna be coughing and sneezing and have that runny nose. Uh, Vitamin C depletion will also lead to uh, tiredness and fatigue and even depression. And so you want to have enough vitamin C in your diet so that your immune system is functioning optimally. Next, please. And that just kind of shows how the immune system defends the body and, and retracts some of these other components. Next. So the important points about immunity is that, again, we have this variety of cells that we've named a few of that can help protect us from outside invaders. By the way, these are working topically in the skin. They are lining the um, endothelia of the lung. There's lots of immune cells in the lungs to help ward off the respiratory of foreign invaders that we breathe in. We're, the lining of the gastrointestinal tract is a factory of immune uh, cells being produced for the rest of the body. And also to fight infection that we may swallow a foreign invader. We don't want that to cross into our bloodstream. And of course, in our blood and lymphatic system and our sinuses, again, up our noses and our mouth. These are where these protective immune cells are working to keep these foreign invaders and to keep these reactions going so that we don't get sick. We're also recycling. We have dead cells that they've lived their lifetime and now they kind of fall apart. So we have to get get rid of those cells or, or say there's a mutated cell. Well, we don't want that cell. So your body tries to also get rid of mu mutated cell. So, and I'd like to make quickly that these are the immune system those billions of cells. So their turnover is in three to four days, a lot of them. So we want to continue to replenish 
uh, the nutrients that are that can continue to uh, propagate a good immune uh, cell family of, of functions. So the next slide shows you what we have put into our immune product that is the traditional medicinal mushrooms that have been studied uh, in China for a long time. They are now studied in laboratories throughout the world and they have particular components, beta glucans and such that have shown a lot of lab evidence of, of enhancing the immune system. Then there are particular berries and fruits like acerola that will have antioxidants. Those bright red colors and orange colors are pigments that are also vitamins and phytonutrients that support the immune system. Polyphenols, all of these are in berries and the next slide shows some of the other So the next thing we want to discuss with you is what are some of the other uh, ingredients that are in the Immune Plus product. And the C vitamin C is a special vitamin C that is attached to a lipid molecule. This helps in its absorption. It has two times better absorption and it remains longer in the bloodstream. It also has a variety of fruits and berries that contain bioflavonoids, uh, polyphenols, and these are synchronistic with vitamin C, helping it activate and get absorbed better also and function better in the cell. Next slide, please. And here's a few others. Ashwagandha herb, as you may know, is an adaptogen, strengthening the body, helps to adapt to stress and anxiety, fatigue, and good for immune health. These two herbs, sea buckthorn also. Now, we did a small clinical study that was impressive, and the doctors wanted to evaluate if the um, immune product enhanced the survivability or the number of immune cells when it was taken as a dietary supplement. So the subjects started at uh, what we call baseline. Uh, their blood is taken and sent off to the laboratory to test for the white blood cells, the immune cells. Then the subjects were sent home and told to take two tablets of immune for 12 weeks. That's a three month period. You have to take a supplement for a while for it to build up in your system and cover the sites and such. And then they took another blood test and then we compared the before and after. And so on the next slide, we see that interesting that the uh, white blood cells increased by 12.6%. And the statistician that I work with on my publications did the math. And this is uh, statistically significant, meaning that it really did go up. When there's enough change in a number, the mathematics shows that it's statistically significant. So we saw an impressive a response in the patients or the subjects taking the immune product to a day for the, the 12 weeks. So the next slide, we took the patients and another experiment and they took the immune product and laminine. That's our uh, proprietary product laminine with all of its functions. And these uh, group of subjects took the two immune a day and two laminine a day for 12 weeks. In that case, we saw a 61.25% difference increase in the white blood cells. And the significance, the mathematical significance was even greater. So we call that highly significant. So interestingly, this laminine, our laminine product, increase the availability and the function 
of the vitamin C formula, the immune formula. So this was interesting to see. And in the next slide, this is kind of an overview. Remember, we're studying in the laboratory when we have the blood tests done on these subjects, white blood cells, T cells, B cells, what's called as killer cells. And so we saw then at the end of the study that's revealed to us that immune is a very good product in increasing the levels of a lot of these uh, cells. But also when laminine was added to the regimen, it increased the function again, another, another large difference. So we know that laminine and immune work very well together, enhancing each other to support the immune system. The next slide. So in overview then, this was a good study and we were able to submit it for publication to the American College of Nutrition. This is an established scientific group and they accepted our study for publication. And this is peer reviewed. That means there's other scientists that are looking at your data and evaluating if your study was uh, done experimentally correct and what type of results you got. So we were very proud to present and publish this uh, research paper. And it's also available at the bottom, uh, T and F online.com and JACN stands for the Journal of the American College of Nutrition. And so the next slide will wanted just to show you the authors and um, we presented that in San Diego several years ago. Next, please. So we did see that taking these immune and laminine did enhance the production and cell counts of the white blood cells and the B cells and the T cells. And so in unhealthy situations, when we are challenged by the cold and flu season and what's about, uh, or you know, certain, like you have an operation or elderly people, uh, their immune systems may not be as strong. They're not eating as much food as they once did. And, and certain types of treatments, of course, will lower your own immunity. So the point is, is that if we take immune and laminine together, we're doing a, our bodies a favor in helping boost that immune system. And we've proven it in this study. So anytime you're immune compromised, you want to encourage yourself and your family, you know, to, to take a higher level of the immune product with your laminine. Next, please. And this is a lovely picture showing the display of all of our products. Immune, of course, is part of the uh, product line. We call it the nutritional powerhouse. You can, of course, buy a bottle of it. And it is also in your Reef 5 product if you want to buy your packets of product that are very uh, easy to take one packet and put in your purse or your pocket to take throughout the day. And our Omnia product is relatively new, but a very powerful uh, formula for uh, beautifying the skin as well as its other uh, attributes as a good supplement. And our Lamiderm. So I'm open uh, to receive any questions that I might be able to answer for you. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Just well, before we get to the live questions and answers, I thought it was really great reminder um, when you reviewed exactly we, what is our immune system and the importance of really the building and the replenishing of our white blood cells and how you know our immune um, does send signals to the immune cells to really fight off all the foreign and you know foreign invasions that are happening and that I you know learning from you is that billions of cells are, are needing to be replaced every two to three days. Um, Isn't that amazing? You wouldn't think that much activity would go on but I, I found that to be amazing to review that material. 
Yes, very much. And then to learn that not all, not like vitamin C, that is something that I am reminded um, that we lack that enzyme. Um, so the one question that I, that we're getting and that we've received most recently is, you know, it, when you, our bottle says take two immune a day, if we take more than two, is that going to give us any um, side effects or is that going to harm us or make it, um, you know, are we going to have um, adverse reaction to taking more than just two immune a day? No, uh, there was a recent article. Uh, I looked into some things and say we call it a mega dose, mega meaning a larger dose that can be uh, three times that amount. So think with me, Martha, one tablet of immune contains 500 milligrams of uh, vitamin C. That's the equivalent of about eight oranges. So it's going to be hard for you to consume eight oranges in a day. But if you take actually six of those in one of the studies showed that over time uh, during a, a cold and flu season, the subjects, the young subjects, they were a group of younger people, but they took three grams a day. That would be equivalent to six of our immune tablets of a vitamin C. And they had about 85% better response to the allergic symptoms and the coughing and the sneezing and the, the symptoms. And so getting up to two or three grams a day is, uh, even though it seems like a larger dose, your body needs a little bit larger dose. You know, they do a lot of interesting things right now with vitamin C. Uh, you know, medically, they work with it a lot prophylactically or infuse it to the body, uh, kind of like getting a B12 shot. So they work a lot with vitamin C. So it's an imp so we can take it easily, though, orally. So this is uh, important to know that it, it has good effects when it's taken in a little bit larger dose to keep protecting the body and the membranes of the body. Great. Thank you for that. I think that's important that you did talk about how our one immune equals to um, eight oranges. One immune pill. And another question I have had in the past as well, and I'm just going to ask here, um, with our product immune and with our other products, do they work well together? And like, do we up our dose each? Like, do we go from one laminine per day to two laminine per day with our immune and all the other products, or are they all good to like take more than just one a day? Well, each, that's a good point product. because if you look at the study data, you know, you're right. You, you're those subjects were taking one laminine in the morning, one in the evening, and then took their one immune in the morning and their one immune in the evening. So that's, uh, I mean, that's actually fairly minimal dose. And to see that effectivity in the numbers of white blood cells and immune cells of all the varieties, you know, is a good indicator that that's a good dosage right there too. Now, maybe if you're under more stresses and environmental situations, you might mega dose and take up to, you know, three or six of your immune product. But I don't, because I've read that in the literature that you know that is considered to be a little bit higher dose but it's also effective we haven't done a study on that dosage yet but you're right those are good indications from your your background we must tell the group that you have a pre-med degree and you've been in the dietary supplement industry so you have a lot of good perspective on formulas and the ingredients and the vitamins and such i appreciate that martha we all do. Well, thank you, Kimberly. I think that's what's very unique to Life Farm and our, um, our distributors. I mean, at least our business builders, our business leaders, and even our consumers. Um, we want to be very transparent. We want to be um, educational. We want to be informed. And we want them to have the knowledge and the information right at their fingertips, too. Um, that's why we're doing these webinars um, so that 
our IBOs um, and their their uh, consumers know that you know we are all about science, about research, and about results. Um, so those are some of the main two questions that I've had most recently. Is you know how does this really work? Is this is is you know the supplement something that I need to take? Um, is that something that my body can actually ward off um, on its own with just my diet? And I think that's that's really the challenge is not everybody's eating healthy every day and they're not cooking their meals or not having, um, you know, the three, three to seven daily servings of, of exactly what the heart health um, association tells us, the American heart association tells us, is that correct? Yes, Kimberly? Yes. In Europe and the United States, when you really ask, you know, a large group of people, they are not getting five fruits and vegetables fresh fruits and vegetables are even processed you know so in europe is low too you know we have this fast-paced society and of course the dramatic uh lack of vitamin c is called scurvy and that's when the sailors you know would would sail across the ocean and they wouldn't have access to fresh fruits or vegetables citrus fruit primarily and you know within a month or two their bodies are ravaged, you know, they lose their, their gums, their teeth, open wounds and fatigue and, and tired and they couldn't work. And so you saw the dramatic effect of, you know, of not having any vitamin C for a couple of months, you know, was very damaging. Vitamin means you must get it from the, the uh, diet. Vital amine means it's vital. The scientists describe it that way with that name. Great. Well, I want to just put this full disclaimer again that you shared at the very beginning. Um, again, what you're hearing from us, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. Um, these products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or mitigate any disease. However, we have testimonials from all over the world on our products, and we would invite those who are watching, hearing this webinar for the first time, being educated by our executive scientist, Kimberly Lloyd, that you know you have the opportunity to try our products, to take them, and then to experience for yourself the optimal health and the, the total mental body physical balance that we we all deserve and want um something that that we want to continue next to is with this kimberly that you shared in your um with your expertise and background here are exactly can you share more about the effect in the effectiveness of vitamin c in preventing and relieving the symptoms of virus induced respiratory infections especially on what we're facing at this time in the, this the was this in our pandemic this was a paper that I found and it was 463 students down to the subject line ranging from 18 to 32 years old and 252 of those students uh, received the vitamin C and if you look under methods with me you hourly doses of 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C for the first six hours and then three times daily thereafter. So um, at least 1,000 milligrams three times a day. So that would extrapolate to six of our immune products uh, scattered throughout the day. And uh, so they did feel better uh, taking the vitamin C through the the cold and flu uh, symptoms that they were going through, they did seem to respond and uh, better and have less symptoms. And that was 85% of the group that received the high vitamin C dosage. So I just wanted to show that to you again. It's it's just a study, but it does show that taking in this case a little more vitamin C was also good, good for these uh, young people. You know, this is, reminds me too of myself. I mean, um, Kimberly, I, when I'm feeling a little bit like fatigued or feeling like, especially in the onset of the flu season and the cold um, season, especially seasonal changes, I like my body actually craves oranges and vitamin C. Like I, I constantly wanting to have that more. 
Um, and I noticed myself just dosing up on more. And it's like, we have to listen to our body as well. Would you agree? Oh, good point. Good point. Yes, you, you naturally crave or you know that eating that orange is going to be soothing to your throat and or you know like you get that scratchy throat and okay i'm going to take my immune right now you know i need to remember to take it this morning maybe take a few more throughout the day another question that we have here is um can we take our products on an empty stomach um or does it have to have food in order to have our um supplements um not give it like that stomach achy feeling? Well, you know, different people are going to have a different genetics and background. And some people may say, oh, I'm too sensitive to the acidity of vitamin C. That person would be better to take it with, a, with food, with their breakfast or their lunch. And it'll be just as effective. And, but then if you really want to dose your body, uh, this is true for any supplement, you'll get the ingredients faster if you take it on an empty stomach because it'll be absorbed and digested much quicker. Some things will actually go across the stomach lining and into the bloodstream from the stomach, you know, like tiny amino acids. They've done those types of studies. So, um, you know, it depends on your own situation. Just get it, just take it is the main thing. I like that you said it, just take it. That's the main thing and being consistent with it. I think it's so huge. You know, like I, if you are a, a regimen of, like of me by nature, I, I, every morning, you know, I have my bottles and I'm like, okay, I'm taking my Omni, I'm taking my immune, I'm taking my Omega, I'm taking my Laminine. It's like, and if I, and I've noticed too, Kimberly, that if I don't take it, like, let's say I stop taking it for like a week, um, all of a sudden, like it's that total mental physical balance just is thrown off completely mm. for me. Oh, that, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Me too. You just, and I'm not as good as habitual and disciplined as some people, but then I will, I think, Oh no, I must take now two or three of those Omni. I must take my immune to just take two or three of them right now, you know, and flush your body through with those good ingredients and the laminine and, and take them if you forget, keep taking them, you know, take them that night or whenever. Some people are more disciplined with those types of habits than others. That's right. A, thank you. No, you're welcome. No, thank you. And so to your point, um, we have a question being asked is, you know, if I do forget, then what do I do on my next day? Like, do I then up it by like doing five of the, of the laminine or I just go back to just resetting myself and yes. saying, okay, I'll just do two a day and just yes. ramp. What, what's what's yeah, your recommendation? Start with your basic again, because, some, you know, like vitamin C, some vitamins that we call that a water soluble vitamin, it's going to travel through your bloodstream and your lymph system, and then it's going to be exc excreted. So you don't want to waste it, but you also want to hit your body with a good dosage of it so it gets stored in the cells and it does store some in the cells, you know, so good point. And thank you, Kimberly. What I'm going to do next then is to share with everyone um, that we have the opportunity to really help impact um, our health and we've got testimonials. You can see here, we've got three um, that have shared and we've in, in, ad, asked anyone else that are watching our webinar is share your product testimonial with us. We're doing a huge campaign right now on a video endorsement. Um, if you're seeing it in the email coming through, please go ahead and respond. Um, we have a way that once you submit your video, that we're going to thank you for doing so. And then we'll be sending you a Life Farm complimentary gift that's valued up to $25. So, so far, these are some of the testimonials that we received just recently. So I want to be able to share that here. Um, one IBO or one product user shared, when I started taking immune, I was, start, I was just starting to feel under the weather. After the first two days, I already felt better. Five days in and I feel free and clear from a Mr. Patrick K in the USA. Another person here, as you can see right in front of this slide here, I was sick for a whole week and had been drained of energy. Then my body of the immune arrived 
Within three or four days, I felt better. I really think it helped me recover faster from another IBO. Um, the third IBO, people around me at work were, are down and out with the flu. Immune 3 Plus really helped me. I would say I did 500 times better than others, and I will tell them about it. I'm going to continue taking Immune 3 Plus because I want to stay well from Roxanne in the U.S. So just reading just from these testimonials and then from many others that are going to come through, I mean, we recommend and encourage you to also check out our company's website. There's an opportunity for you to, to read reviews and to post reviews as well. Um, the more that what we've learned is the more you take, the more you're going to feel better. Would you agree, Kimberly? Yes, yes. It's not going to hurt you. It's all good for you to take. And you've got a special, it looks like. We do. So we heard the field and we've heard our consumers. And with all that's happening, everyone was like, okay, we don't want the immune to go out. We want to give more of our, to our friends and family to be able to try our products. So um, we heard the field. And as of this week, our promo, this double defense promotion, where you get your laminine 120 count bottle um, and get two of our 30 count bottles of our immune when you purchase that set of three then we will be gifting you from our company two additional um, 30 count bottles so this is uh, a re this is valued at 183 for our distributors our consumers our preferred customers now for retail it is at 248 now what a huge savings of, of 25 percent and this is gonna be now extended not only for our market in the North America, as well as our Oceania market, but also for the European market, it is going to be extended all the way through April. Now we will tell you that because we were not anticipating the sell of, of our products to be this huge already, um, our product packaging is not gonna be able to be delivered in a box because we are out of our immune bottle boxing packaging so it'll be just the bottle sealed to deliver to you so you won't have the pretty box um, for the time being because we're out of the box itself but we are not out of the bottles so that's good news and even as of two days ago we are seeing this the highest sales um, so far this year because of this product um, this double defense promotion. And it's because of all of you that are part of it, um, sharing it with your friends and family. You, of course, you're taking it yourself, which is important. You wanna be healthy because you, you have to take care of yourself before you can take care and help somebody else. And that's our motto is take care of yourself, but also take care of your loved ones in the communities that we're a part of. And we are global citizens, so we want to really help save lives, especially our own life. Right, Kimberly? Thank you. Yes, this is a good promotion. And um, go ahead. No, I'm that's great what you said. Thank you. It's a good promotion. We should all be taking it. It's a good time to to take your immune. Now with that, we're going to end our webinar just to say thank you for joining us and we invite you to our next one, which is our next monthly product webinar, which will be taking place on April 9th. It is a Thursday rather than a Friday for that month because we're, um, our office is closed on April 10th, being that it is Good Friday. Um, so until then, we hope that you will continue to stay healthy, feel very blessed and be safe. And um, we look forward to seeing you again on our next webinar. Have a great one, a great day. And thank you, Kimberly, for giving us all your knowledge and sharing your studies and everything that you're doing to support us here at our corporate Life Farm family and then our global Life Farm family all over the world, Kimberly. Oh, thank you, Martha. And thank all of you out there in Life Farm land and take care. Bye. Bye.